everybody. We got a good one for you here today. It's a 2016 Chevy Traverse. Beautiful car. Uh, this is the previous year's body style before they just switched to the new one in 2018. So uh, have a great time looking at this video today as I walk through the Traverse and show you some of the great features on this car, the price, the mileage, and the current condition. So first off, this one's in good shape. It's black in color. If I see any major dents, stings, or scratches, I will point them out. Like I said, this is the 2016 Traverse. Um, it's known for its third row seats in the back. It's considered to be a mid-size SUV, so not full size. Your Suburbans and Tahoes are full size. You definitely get alloy wheels on here. Good looking rugged tires on there. Those are your Goodyear Forte, Forterra tires. So really nice rugged kind of look, which looks nice on this black. Um, you got the roof rails up top, the rear tinted windows from the second window or second seats back. Again, it's a LT, so a little more loaded up on the inside. It's not just your traditional base model traverse. Uh, backup camera. Um, here's your key right here. Looks like we do got a power tailgate feature. Just hit that button, opens that right on up. You know, a lot of cars nowadays have power tailgates, so make sure that you pick one that does have that feature. Third row seats, like I said, and st still a pretty decent amount of cargo room in the back with the third rows up. If you want to fold the third rows down, just go like that. And they fold right down on both sides. And as you can see, still a ton of space back there. And uh, the nice thing about this one, it's got captain row seats right there for you. So that's a great feature for someone that's got kids or hey, or just people riding the back a lot. It's nice to have those captain row seating. Okay, let's take a look at our interior. See what we got going on. Power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. This one's got a Bose stereo system. Power seats, power lumbar. This one's got the cloth interior seating. Not bad. You can get it with leather. There's your screen. Got heated seats. Lots of cool stuff. And there's those Captain Rose seats in the back. A lot of times you can't get Captain Rose unless you roll with the leather interior. This one, it's nice that you can get them just like that with even cloth. Um, unfortunately, there's no price or anything like that on the uh, on the window sticker. I don't see that on there, but I will tell you what the mileage is just by doing this right here. Uh, this one's got, well, it's not going to tell me unless I close the door. Crank her up. Alright, let's see how many miles is on this one. Uh... Well, golly Ray doesn't want to seem to tell me, does it? We're just not in, we're not in luck today, are we? All right, we're in drive. Well, you're going to tell me the mileage? <laughs> I guess not. Say a command or Oh my goodness ended. gracious. Goodbye. So not having much luck here right now with that. I can find the buttons in here to click up there and tell me the mileage on this thing. See, that's why sometimes I just don't get into it when it does this. Because this car seems to be a little difficult on figuring out how to control that screen up there. And it's not doing anything. Alright, we'll have to uh, go up on the website and take a look at that. I can only assume it's got pretty... Oh, here we go. 45,300 is when the next oil change is doing 7,000 miles. So if that helps you, 45.3 is right on there. That says in February it's due for its next oil change. So take seven, five to seven thousand miles off of that. You know, you're, you're right around 40,000, 39,000, 38, somewhere right around there on this beautiful 2016 Traverse at Marchant Chevrolet. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. We'll see you soon.